This video is covering the topic of evolution. It's a rapid recap only, the absolute basics, and it's just acting as a revision prompt to help you at this time of the year when you're probably getting ready for exams. So the first place to start is with the definition of evolution. It's an inheritable genetic change in a population or species which happens slowly over time or in response to change in the environment. In our study of evolution, we focus on natural selection, which is one mechanism to explain how evolution can take place. So make some notes on natural selection. It's a theory of evolution. It was put forward by Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, and you must give credit to both men. You should be able to provide a basic outline on the details of natural selection. Explain it. There is genetic variation among members of a population, which means that their characteristics or traits are not identical. And these differences, these differences in the characteristics or traits can be passed to their offspring. Organisms have many offspring. They tend to overbreed, but the population numbers remain constant. Organisms struggle or compete for survival. Only those with the beneficial traits survive because those with the beneficial traits are better adapted to the environment. These organisms will reproduce, producing offspring with the beneficial trait and slowly over time, more of the population will have that beneficial trait. Evolution is underpinned by inherited variation. It's essential for evolution. So what are the reasons for inherited variation? The first is sexual reproduction and the second is mutations. With sexual reproduction, it's meiosis and the formation of the gametes and also the process of fertilization, which is responsible for the inherited variation. Mutations, a change in the amount or structure of DNA, and there's two types of mutations. There are gene mutations, otherwise referred to as point mutations, and then there are chromosome mutations. A gene or point mutation is changes or alterations in a single gene, so it's an altered gene. Chromosome mutation is a change in the number or structure of chromosomes. The evidence in support of natural selection, well, it's fossils. Fossils can be dated and they show how an organism changed in complexity over time. Natural selection and antibiotic resistance in bacteria. So how does antibiotic resistance relate to natural selection? Be able to give an account. An antibiotic is a chemical that kills or prevents the growth of bacteria. Within bacterial populations, there are some individuals that would be resistant to antibiotics. When the environment alters, for example, when an antibiotic is administered, only those resistant bacteria survive and pass on this trait. So in this environment, the environment that was flooded with antibiotics, antibiotic resistance was beneficial and those best adapted survived. Those that had the resistance survived and created future generations with this trait. A further consideration is that bacteria can pass the gene for resistance to other bacterial species, a process known as horizontal gene transfer. This can happen in a number of ways, but one method is when the bacterial plasmid containing the gene for antibiotic resistance is passed into another bacterium. This becomes a serious problem when the gene for antibiotic resistance gets passed to a species of bacteria that causes human or animal disease. You can end up with a situation where once there was an antibiotic which was effective at killing or inhibiting the growth of a particular bacterial species and now does not do so. Speciation. Evolution can lead to the formation of new species. A species is defined as a group of similar organisms capable of interbreeding to produce fertile offspring. But how are new species formed? For our course, we just have to give a very simplistic overview and think about natural selection when you're explaining this. So species are made up of many populations of similar individuals, and these populations can be spread out over huge geographic areas. Sometimes environmental conditions can alter in one area and natural selection could result in one population changing over time, forming a new species. So if they ever met up with the other populations, they can't interbreed. So that's why they have formed a new species. Speciation and natural selection can be tricky to understand, particularly if you're just reading it from a book. Always relate it back to Darwin's Finches, and in particular, watch the documentaries by the two professors, Rosemary and Peter Grant. So that was the rapid recap on evolution. Always use your textbook, always complete past papers and check official marking schemes. The very best of luck.